Hey everyone, Steve Harris here. Just a quick and casual video today outlining some of the exciting new aspects of our, essentially it's the entire platform has been rebuilt. We've rebuilt the dashboard, we've rebuilt the billing system, and we've done this for two reasons. The first is to address some of the issues we've had with various things like invoices and load speed for high volume users. But the second aspect of it is to really lay the groundwork for future growth of our company. We are going to start integrating other products, other services, and things that add value to your membership. And we needed to really bring our platform up in terms of the tech behind it to be able to do that. So let's take a quick look here. I'm on the brand new without code dashboard. And as you can see, we've kept a similar kind of look with a few slight design adjustments here and there. Now, the first thing I'll mention on this is it is incredibly fast. Because it's been rebuilt, we've used much more modern web app or app design techniques. And in terms of the load speed of this, if I change this to say 30 per page, now I don't have that many sites on this, but you can see that it loads instantly. And for our users who have hundreds of sites on the dashboard, this is going to be a dramatic difference. Now, one new aspect to this is we've integrated some new organizational tools for you the main being a global search function. So now you can actually search for an item and it's going to show your projects, but it will also show your subscriptions. It'll help you drill down into those details you need to make your billing and site management really simple. We also have, of course, some new filtering and layout modes. We can go to say a list view here for the dashboard. Let's go back to grid view. And then we've got our standard sorting options here below and better control over how many of these are showing per page. But the biggest change you'll notice in terms of organization is we're moving to a project centric approach. So originally on our dashboard, you would just see your sites all listed. And the problem with this is that as we integrate more tools, things like SEO, email, compliance to GDPR, we need to contain those items somewhere on the dashboard. So what we've done is moved to a project system and by creating a project, that will now house all of those services that we offer, including the website. So let's go create a new project. And I'm going to go ahead and call this project Noir Club. It's a bar and restaurant. Okay. And I'm going to add an image right here at the beginning of the project flow. So I've got a logo here. Let's open that. Click create project. And there we have our new project created for our club. So within that, we can go ahead and manage the project, which is basically entering the project to add services to it, or we have some options up here to manage it in terms of updating details or swapping this image out. So let's go ahead and manage the project. And when we jump in here, it says we currently have no website. So click here to add your website. So let's go ahead and add. Now we'll select a template. I'll just go ahead and select this one. And there you go, our site is created automatically and it's just inherited the project image we've used. It's inherited the name, but of course we can change that. And we have options down below for controlling the site. So preview, edit, publish, switch, reset, that sort of thing. Below that, we now have integrated the CMS user system right here. So I can add my CMS users and I can add my team members in, in the same area. Up here in the top right, we've got an add service button. And when I click that, you'll see that we've got some services that we have available here for you to add. So we could add email hosting, which is ready to go, but we're also adding a compliance solution in for GDPR compliance. We have some apps that we're integrating in. So this service box is going to really ramp up in terms of things you can do to your project. Okay, let's close this and focus on the site for now. Now, one of the biggest changes that you're going to see on the new dashboard is that we're going to require you to publish your site initially from the dashboard. So when I click publish, it brings up the publish information. We can select our plan and pay right here. We're no longer allowing you to publish from within the website builder. Now this is pretty standard. You'll think you'll find that most site builders require you publish from the dashboard. And what it does is just kind of maintains the connection to our site here to the actual publish flow, rather than kind of sending you to a different location to then try and get you back to pay for the site. It's a long story and complicated, but it's going to fix one of the most annoying issues we had, which was with a permission that would say you are unable to publish your site because you do not have permission to do so. That is a thing of the past. 
So once I go ahead and publish my site, we will still have the ability to republish from within the editor because that's an essential part of your workflow and you constantly republish the site. So we do not require that from the dashboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish this site up to show you the new publish flow. When I click publish and then I select my hosting plan, I'm actually routed directly to Stripe. So Stripe is our billing provider and what we've done is we've gone through the thousands of pages of Stripe documentation to integrate their latest billing system into our app. So now you will see the details of your hosting, monthly site hosting for Noir Club and the site ID on the invoice and you'll actually just put your card directly into Stripe and hit subscribe. So let's pay for this site. You'll notice we're in test mode. This dashboard is not quite live for everyone yet. So much of what you're seeing here is still on our beta and testing environment. So the site is live. Now we can click to edit it. I'm actually just going to go ahead and go back to the dashboard here. Okay, here I am on the dashboard. You can see that our site now says it's published. It has monthly site hosting, which is active. And we can now change our plan, which means upgrading or downgrading to e-commerce plans right on the dashboard. You'll just pay the prorated amount. You'll be moved immediately. There is no need to request support from our team and you won't be looking at refunds or anything like that. So much smoother flow between changing plans. You'll also notice we rebuilt the subscription management system. So if I actually click on my subscription here, it gives us some details about the subscription and we can go right into the billing portal and this is Stripe's billing portal. This is not ours. We figured, you know what, why would we rebuild something that a multi-billion dollar company has already done because they've done it so well. So you'll now just manage your details from directly within the billing portal and everything is documented properly. You have the project name on everything, site names on everything. It's going to be super easy to figure out which site a bill is for and what you're paying for on each invoice. We also have a subscription management system on our end that provides you just kind of some summary details. So you can see your listed invoices and of course we can view or download the invoices as needed. So in general, this is a big improvement in terms of managing your subscriptions and I think our high volume users especially will love the simplicity that we've built into this. We've also broken down our payments and subscriptions into categories. So you can see membership subscriptions, We've got website subscriptions and an email. If you have email subscriptions active and below that we'll have the new products and services that we're working on integrating. Let's jump back to the dashboard. So one aspect of this rebuild is that we're going to restructure our membership plans a little bit. And the biggest change that you will see is that we are removing the free plan and instead opting for a free trial. So when you sign up for Without Cope, you can do a free trial. It will likely be 30 days, at least initially, no credit card required, and you have full access to the builder to explore, to learn, to build your site, whatever you'd like. From then on, you will need to become a member of Without Code. We won't bother calling it pro or anything like that. You just need to become a Without Code member to use the software. And once you become a member, you can continue to publish sites as you normally would, and our published prices are saying exactly the same as they are. The new item you'll see here, however, is the bundle option. And the bundle allows you to purchase both your membership to Without Code and your first hosted site together at one low price. And this is a significant discount from our standard rates. Once you've purchased that, just like with the membership, you can continue to publish sites at our standard hosting prices. So the bundle gives you a great chance to get in there and get a hosted site at a really good price. But keep in mind, you do need to purchase this at sign up or at the end of your trial. You cannot become a member, then add on the bundle later on. We need our users to purchase the bundle straight away from here to go ahead and behind the scenes bundle up that site and any other features that we may add into this bundle in the future. Now, I know there's lots of questions about free account users, and we've gone ahead and answered several of those questions in the blog post below this video. So I encourage you to read ahead and kind of learn about some of the details and reasons why we made this change. But I feel very positive that this is setting our business up for future growth, and we're really going to expand our both resources and our team in directions that really support our customers. We're going to expand our support. We want to add 24-hour support. We're looking into live chat 
And we're, of course, signing deals and working with other companies to bring different products and services right into the platform. So this is really the evolution of our business, and we're super, super excited about the direction it's going. Thanks so much for following along with me here. Our plan is to release the new platform sometime within October 2021, and we can't wait to get you working on it. Thanks again for being a customer of Without Code.